Hello YouTube, this is Shorty Mac back with another awesome video for you guys today. Today I'm going to be doing a DIY slime. So today I'm going to be just doing like a normal clear slime. and Clear slime today. Nothing fantastic, just regular clear slime. Because every time I make like clear slime, I always add stuff in there. But this time I just want to like make a clear clear one. So the materials you guys will be needing for this video is some Elmer's glue so I'm using the blue Elmer's glue so I don't have food to put food coloring then you'll need a jar or something to put your slime in so I have this little mason jar right here to put it and all the ingredients I got got was from um, Family Dollars so I got a bowl right here a plastic bowl I got a fork you can use a fork spoon or popsicle sticks and then I'm using Tide as my activator or you can use um borax you can use um contact solution um i heard that you can use water and you can use baking soda so first and if you guys see like like if i'm crying or something i have allergies so right now my nose is kind of stuffy so i'm gonna open this glue right here this blue glue and squeeze all of it into this bowl Make sure you get all of the glue out because it's a waste of money if you just throw away all the extra, ax, all the glue out. Like, if there's still glue in the bottle, try to squeeze it all out. But if it doesn't come all out, just tip the bottle over and let it sit for like a couple like seconds and let it drizzle all the way to the top. And then you can like. take some more out so I got most of it out but I'm gonna keep this clear bottle glue because in a future video I'm gonna show you guys how to make a cool lava lamp out of this it's not like technically it's kind of technically a lava lamp but you can't plug it in but you can like shake it to get like stressful stuff out so stay tuned for that video when I post it up so after I put all my blue glue my blue glue as you guys can see through this bowl because if I tip it it's going to spill everywhere in my room because I have a carpet so after I put that in there now you're going to take your Tide add a little bit at a time because if you add too much it's going to be over activated so I'm going to pour some into this little lid cup I'm going to add a little bit at a time and, and my room is not like on a hardware floor because my room is um a carpet, so I don't want to get like any slime or any liquid onto my carpet because it's hard to get out. Because last time I spilled um uh blue um blue food coloring on my carpet and it got everywhere and slime. So right now it's almost thickening up. So I'm gonna add some more some more activator in. A little bit more in. You want to add a little bit at a time because if you add too much in at once, it won't activate right. And it'll be kind of like not the right consistency. So right now, it's almost turning into lovely slime. So I'm going to add a little bit more in because you want your slime to be non-sticky. So I'm going to add a little more in. Then I'm going to take my fork or whatever utensils you're using for this slime I'm gonna take it out put it in the other bowl and use my hands to mix it in you want your slime to not be sticking on your hands so you want to knead it and add, add more activate a little bit more activate each time and just knead it in so I am going to add a little more activator in and knead it so, yes. So, add the activator in and knead it. And I'm using one hand right now because I don't want my hand, other hands to get dirty. Because I have to go open the, my room door to go wash my hands afterward. So, yep. When you add your um, Tide activator into your slime, it, would, it won't be like, your glue won't be clear until a couple of days. It'll look like this, but it won't be clear clear until a couple of days so you're gonna have to wait until a couple of days until your slime is clear 
So it's getting there. So I'm going to use my other hand. I said I was going to use one hand, but I got to use my other hands to like knead it in well. So still sticking to my hands. So I'm going to add a little more activator in because it's still sticking to my hands. And then I am going to like keep mixing it in, stretching it in and out with this activator. So it doesn't get sticky on my hands. So after I keep stretching it, playing with it, you have to keep playing with your slime so it doesn't stick to your hands. Right now it's super sticky on my hands. So so I'm going to keep playing with it until it's non-sticky. Right now my allergies are acting really funny so... My freaking nose is kind of runny because of my allergies. Alright, so it's still sticking to my freaking hands. So now I'm going to add a little bit more activator. Just a little bit more. Alright. Then I'm going to play with it for a little more so the activator will get nicely and see right now how it's supposed to it's supposed to be really clear but right now it's not clear clear yet so you're gonna have to wait for a couple of days then it'll turn back to clear so right now i'm just like playing with it so it won't be sticky all right so i am just gonna keep playing with it Alright, so right now it's not that sticky. So it's supposed to look clear like this. But it's not clear yet because you have to wait for a couple of days. So you're going to have to let it sit in your drawer or whatever container you're using. So I'm using this teal container that I bought from Family Dollar for $1.50. So I'm going to put, put it into this container. In a couple of days, in a couple of days it will clear back up to their original color so I'm gonna put it in here it's a little bit still a little bit sticky but not too sticky all right so I'm gonna put it in this little oops see it started farting it's kind of like flarp but see I'm gonna let it sit in there and close the lid back up like this so you're done after you're done putting it in your container you gotta wait for a couple of days to let it clear up so it'll be this color so if you guys like this video please give it a thumbs up if you guys want to see more DIYs please comment down below whether DIYs you guys want to see and soon or later once I get to figure out um, how to um, make my beats and my uh, get this app to record I'll put all my music videos on my channel so you guys can see all my music videos and my songs Love you guys. Bye.